Hi there, it's Carrie from GetAnorwexWebsite.com. I showed you in a previous video how to make global coupons for your website. Those are coupons that will take a percentage or dollar amount off of a person's order. But sometimes you would want to set a restriction on a coupon so that it can only be used for a category on your website or some categories on your website or actually just on certain products on your website. And here's how you do that. Uh, you have to have made the coupon already, which I did in the previous video. So this is my $5 off coupon with the code It's Spring. Now that I've made that coupon, I'm going to click Restrictions on that coupon. And you can see that we have category restrictions and we have product restrictions. The category restrictions allow you to restrict the coupon use to certain categories on your site. So say that I'm having a green cleaning sale and I only want to allow products from my green cleaners category. So I choose the category, make sure it says allow, and then click add. Okay, maybe I also think, well, I'd also like to offer my organic, so I'm going to also allow that category. Okay, and then you need to actually physically go through the rest of the categories that you don't want to offer with the coupon, and you need to set them to deny. Okay, I'm not going to go through them all, but that's how you would do it. So only the categories that you want people to be able to use the coupon code to buy products from should be set to allow and the others should be set to deny. Okay, now if you want to only allow um, the coupon to be used on certain products, then all of your top level categories have to be listed here and they all have to be set to deny. And you can do that by clicking the little green button over to red or if you're just adding a category that you haven't previously added, you choose deny here and you add it and you'll see that the allow is red and the deny is green. Okay, once every single one of your top level categories is listed at the top there and it is set to deny, then you can come down to product restrictions and you can look to see which product it is that you want to offer. So I'm going to offer in my green cleaner section, I'm going to offer the carpet stain buster. I'm going to allow that product and maybe I would also like to offer from my mops um, I would also like to offer the rubber brush. Okay, You don't have to go through and set all of the products to deny because you already have the whole category set to deny up here. So you're saying deny everything on my website except these products, please allow those products so that when someone checks out with my coupon, they can that coupon can be applied to these products. Okay. Uh, another thing to know that's just kind of a nifty feature is that when you've made a coupon, you can click this email button here and you can see the coupon name. You can send it to all of your customers. You can send it to only customers who have subscribed to your newsletter. You can send it to people that haven't purchased for a long time. Maybe it will spur them to purchase. Um, you can send it, send it to people who have signed up as customers on your site but who have never made a purchase or you can send it to a specific customer. Okay, And you would just put in a subject like Norwex store coupon and tell them what the coupon code is and click send mail and away you go. Okay, and then the last thing, I'm going to back up one screen here. I also wanted to show you, there's a report button here that you can uh, use to look to see. In this case, this coupon's never been used, so it's showing uh, no redemptions, but it would actually show you how many times the coupon had been redeemed and how many times per customer it had been redeemed. So that's also an interesting feature. Okay, that is how you set restrictions on products and categories in your website. And uh, have fun with that.